Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Daddy's Home, starring Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, Linda Cardellini, and Thomas Hayne Church, and directed by Sean Anders. Now, why am I doing a comedy series, even though sequels to comedies, in my opinion, are a terrible choice? Well, I just, I don't know, I'll try it for the first time, I'll just say that much. But let's get into it, because I am a Will Ferrell fan. Will Ferrell plays a stepdad named Brad who's always wanted to be a dad until one day at the dentist office his testicles was, were photo taken, which that is so stupid, how would you miss that? His stepson, Dylan, being pushed around by fourth graders, and it turns out it, at the end are girls, the one, only thing Brad has to deal with is his stepkids, and their mother, Sarah, played by Linda Cardellini, is Sarah's ex-husband, the father, a.k.a. Dusty, played by Mark Wahlberg. Who does the whole... Are you does the father? Nope. Cliché. But be the same... It'll be... That'll be the same thing once the movie is over, and I'll get there when I get there. I get the impression that fairy tale scene story with Dusty, that Dusty was telling the kids was him versus Brad. Like, are you retarded? Because that is the whole dad versus stepdad cliché. Dusty brings a dog to the house and brings up... The whole dog versus puppy thing, which is absolutely ridiculous. The motorcycle hitting the car looked very cartoony and very CGI. Thomas Hayden Church has a very good presence as Brad's boss and talks to Dusty. And Dusty has that voice on the radio that now he got hired as the voice of Brad's company called The Panda. Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg have good chemistry for comedy for comedic timing and have some funny moments in the film. I I actually like those two together, to be honest. Brad skateboards Lord of Dogtown style and gets electrocuted and is dead for a minute or two and suddenly he becomes a zombie, made me laugh. I busted up. Brad brings up when Dylan gets hurt by those fourth graders and says the way to solve a problem is dancing and briefly brings up and Griffey brings up the dance movies and how it solves the problem with bullies was a little rough for this movie in my opinion. Dr. Emilian Francisco, played by Bobby Cannavale, helps Brad's problem thanks to Dusty as a good presence for playing usually some good slash bad people, but I do like the actor and the character. Dusty admits he wants to get rid of Brad so he pretends to be Santa Claus and not and Brad pretends to be Santa Claus, was not fooling anyone at this point. It was just very stupid. Brad drinking five or more beers at a basketball game because he's just heard the word that his stepdaughter Megan wants the Dusty to go with her to the father-daughter dance when he asked Brad at the beginning of the film. And the way he acted at the basketball court was so painful, I can't watch the movie for this. But I continued for this show, and I'm concerned for to go into the movie theater for next week for the sequel. Dusty decides to be a real father, and four days later, Dusty loses his mind and wants to leave parenting for good. But thanks to Griff telling Brad to get Dusty back into the parenting, and Dylan hits a fourth grader who was a girl, like I brought up earlier, and the dad's having a dance-off and Brad's getting his shirt off was just terrible. Just, I don't like the way all that ended. Dusty has a girlfriend and a stepdaughter. Now, as the movie ends, and who's the real father of Mark Wahlberg's stepdaughter? It's WWE wrestler John Cena. Going back to the cliche I talked about is too much for the final minute of the movie. So that's my review. Let's get into this review. I'll give this movie a 3.8 out of 10. This movie is completely garbage up, and I really do like both actors, but this movie is a real downer, and I'm really concerned for next week. So, I'll talk about it when I get there. So, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and I will be back next week with Daddy's Home 2, and until next time, 103.6, The Panda! <laughs>